Okay, we're here two years later. We're about to finish up the control panel. Here's the control panel, and uh, we're gonna actually put an overlay on it. The first step is, though, is getting all the stuff that we put on it in like the last couple of videos off of it. So we're going to take it apart and uh, get ready to put that overlay back on. Okay, so I guess we're gonna start by taking off all the buttons. And since we made these finger tight, it's a matter of holding them on the back side and then pulling the buttons through. And we'll just set them aside. Our goal is going to be to try to keep sure, sure we keep all these buttons in place so that they don't that they don't go the wrong way. Okay, now the problem we have is that there's grease on here. This is probably from somebody's hands because your hands are real greasy. So this control panel has got to be wiped down with some alcohol so that we get rid of all that grease and then the control panel overlay will stick to it better. Okay, so we're going to wipe this down with 91% isopropyl alcohol. And the purpose behind doing that is so that we can get off all the um, oils from the skin and accumulate, because we have had this in play for quite a while. It's been a couple of years since we started the project. But, uh, so now we're going to wipe it down a little bit. Okay, so this is the moment of truth. We're looking for to put on the control panel overlay. Now, as you guys have probably, if you've been following this thing, it's been a long time coming. Um, they've been talking about producing this for quite a while, and finally it's here. And it's supposed to match up with this control panel. What's noticeable about it, though, is there is some holes missing. There's some holes that are set up, but not actually, hold. there's no holes for them. So, those are going to be cut out by hand, which, um, so people are a little curious about how you do that to get it right, and I'll show you. It's pretty easy, actually. The biggest problem is getting these holes lined up uh, with the control panel to get it actually perfect once you take the, take the back off. So this is going to be our, be a little bit tricky, and we'll show you how we do that. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to put some buttons through the holes, and I'm just going to use it to kind of guide where the control panel overlay goes. So we're just going to put the buttons in the holes, and then we're going to put the screws in the back. We're going to take some additional sockets I've got, and we're going to use these to attach it. And that way we can uh, get a couple of these on here, then we'll tape it down. So as you can see, we've got the uh, holes. We've got a couple of, we put a couple of the uh, buttons back in, and we've got the holes kind of taped in place. And uh, we taped on the sides to try to keep it in place. Now this is just the middle of it. And we're going to start at the bottom, and we're going to peel the bottom of it, and then we should be able to remove the, the backing from the bottom of it. Okay, so now I'm going to score with the exacto blade, I'm going to score some of the, the backing. So what we're going to do is put a nice thin line down the back of it. We're not going to go all the way through. And then that's going to do is allow us to take off the backing paper up to that point. That's where we scored it at. Okay, I flip it over and we're going to push down real hard and I'm going to wrap this around the control panel. Coming out. See those little bubbles, and we can push the bubbles out. Here by up a hole. Let me overlay that. 
and then you just pull it up around. I need a cat's one screen. tape and continue the process going this way. get to the end and we're going to fold up the back and this is going to be a little bit hard because you can't really get it around that curve and you want to fold it over and it's, it's tight it's real tight trying to get it as flat as possible get the glue to stick Also, just cut it flush too. But I like to go over. That's the way they did it in the old days. Side over here. This happened um, over here in the corner, and that was because of it. it did a little delamination a little bit when I went to undo it. No major deal though. I've seen worse. I'm happy with it. it. Went on pretty well. They got a cover and came apart from the under under coating. But uh, there it is, and. Uh, Holes are a tad bit off, but it's not going to make a, make, make a mistake. We can actually just trim around a little bit. And the buttons themselves will cover over anyway. So it won't actually be a problem. But they only know I'll have to trim them anyway. The buttons seem like they'll go in pretty good. This way, we can probably trim up a little bit. But uh, we'll come back in a little bit. And uh, actually, we're doing this. Was, the light will be changing because we're going to do it tomorrow. But we're, tomorrow, we're going to finish up. We're going to put the the, cut the holes and it, where they're missing at and uh, trim these up a little bit and then we'll put the buttons back in and we'll have a work done control panel overlay. Okay, so what we've got now is we've got these two holes. Actually, there's more than two. There's actually three more up top here. We're going to use these as an example and we're going to cut these two holes. Now, how we're going to do that is we're going to use our, our X-Acto knife and we're just going to put a hole I'm going to go right through the material and I'm going to put like a little X in it. Okay. And we could probably even, I usually like to do it from the other side, so we'll just 
the idea is going to be we're going to use that to cut out, carve out the material there. So what we'll do is we'll go around the other side after we've got done here, and we'll spin it over and we'll do the other side. So you can see this hole has been partially cut out. What it's going to do is it's going to carve through it and do the rest of it. The nice thing is, is that you can't really do it, make a mistake on this as long as you're really careful because the, the, the material is only going to let you go as far as the rim goes. So I'll go do that and we'll show it to you when it's done. Okay, so all we did was just simply go around it and start digging it until I got the hole perfectly round. And the results are really good. I mean, it, it, it follows the hole really, really well. So that, that's actually how you do the holes. So I'll do the rest of them, come back and show you how they looked at when we're done. Okay, so we've done all the holes and you can see they've been cut out. And uh, it really isn't that hard. If you use a small X-Acto blade, then it'll be able to get in there and get the turns real well. I use this uh, kind of pointy one, and uh, you can basically get in there, you can get in there, you can get all the turns really tight by using the, the smaller end of it, and get the uh, curves all in there. You can get the little notches inside of here that are in there as well. And uh, I went around and did the rest of the rest of the screw holes. The rest of the, I'm sorry, not screw holes, but the, uh, buttonholes. Went around and did the rest of, I ran around and did the rest of the buttonholes. And it came out pretty good. Um, so yeah, so we're ready to go. And the places where the buttonholes click a little bit off, when you put the button in, they're gonna hide it real well. So it really doesn't matter if they're, if they're just a tad bit off on the buttonholes. And we're using covers, so on the joysticks, so uh, with a joystick cover on it, it'll look fine. You don't even know that that was there. There you go. Okay, well, we've completed it. We got it all back together again. Um, joysticks are back on, all the buttons are back on. Control panel overlay is back on. Ready to go, basically. You got the other side. All the wires are wired up. And uh, we're, just, we're going to be good to go. And uh, that's it. So we're going to plug it in and see how it looks like. And we'll take it downstairs and plug it back in the machine and see how it looks. So here we are. We're finally at the end of the ZBG series. It's been a long time coming, but here we are. Okay, so we got a control panel overlay on top of the control panel. We can see it. All the buttons are in the right place. You can see what the buttons do now. It's been a long time coming, but here we are. And all we need now is a new um, marquee. That's going to come out, but we're not going to do another video just for that. It'll be just one of those things where... You, know, you guys know what it's going to be like when it comes out. So that's it. Here we go. The, uh, the ZVG project has come to a final end. I know that a lot of people have gotten a lot of use out of these videos and uh, it's put a lot of more of those VG, ZVG cards back into, ga into games as opposed to be sitting in closets. So thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed the series.